This is the grade three math practice test for T and ready. On this version of the test, this is question number 10. Nikki's music lesson begins at 515 and ends 30 minutes later. Place two points on the number line to show when Nikki's lesson begins and ends. So I'll need one point for when it begins and I'll need another point for when it ends. Label the points B for the beginning time and C for the end time. So here and here. Now, this is a number line question, of course. I need to see how my hour structure is broken up. I have three to four, and there are one, two, three points in between, so it takes me four time periods to get to the next hour. So I'm just going to look on a clock really fast. Well, not my best effort. Maybe my worst effort, who knows. So if I have my hours set up there and my minutes, I know that at 3, this is really 15 minutes. At 6, that's 30 minutes. At the 9 on the clock, that's 45. And at the 12, that would be the 60. So when I have a clock, I'm really breaking it up into four parts. One, two, three, four. So instead of having where you would normally break up between three and four as like 25, like 3.25. So say I have a dollar. Well, I have three dollars and one quarter. That's 3.25. And then two quarters would be 350. And then three quarters would be 375. And then I get it to four. That's not how it works with time. Time's different because the intervals are different. It's not 25, 50, it's 15 minutes. So the first group would be 15 minutes after, so this is 3, 15. This one, right there, this one is 3, 30. This one is 3, 45, and then I get up to 360, which is 4. That's how those are going to go. So when I do 5, 15, I might even make a little group here. 15, 30, 45, 15, 30, 45, 15, 30, 45. So I'm looking for 5, 15. So here's 5, here's 15. I'm going to put a dot right there. Make my B. 30 minutes later. I know that 30 minutes later would be one group, two groups. So I'm looking for 45. So 5, 45. And that's C. Now I can go through. I'm going to be real precise about this one and try to eliminate all the things I don't need. So I start at 515. 30 minutes later is 45. So I have B and C in those locations. All of this started from me drawing this picture of the clock because it's really easy to forget that time works differently than our traditional numbers. When we go into 25, 50, 75, and 100, we're using a number system that does not match to time because time doesn't have what's called a base 10 system. It uses, a, it has 60 minutes in an hour. So we need to break 60 into four parts. That would be to 15, to 30. So if you need to make quick clocks, 15, 30, 45, 60. Just get those in your head and memorized, and things go a lot easier. Or you could call this one 00, zero if you want to do that. So when I need 30 minutes, I know that each of these is 15, so 15 would be 1 and 30. So it goes all the way around. So I start here, goes to the other side. Well, it ends at 45. So it starts at 515, then ends at 545. That's shown here. Let me erase all the rest of the stuff out. make this eraser a little bigger since we're at the end here but this is what your final product is going to look like it's just going to have your dot at 515 and your dot at 545 and you want to have your B there and your C probably a little bit bigger right in that general area so that's it